Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2006 Legacy Wagon. It's got uh, 91,500 kilometers on it, which is about 56,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. But first, let me ask you to please watch the video uh, till the end. I do cover a lot of information in my videos that's going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, financing, uh, road tax, etc. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, and you'll have all the answers that you need. If not, go ahead and contact me or stop on by. This Legacy Wagon is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $175 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April May time frame. So if you don't want to wait through any lines, please stop by Johnny's Used Cars after April 1st and a few days before May ends, and we'll go ahead and assist you with that. You do have two ways to pay for this uh, first being US dollars cash outright. Or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if we want to put something down before, or to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. Now this one doesn't have a typical rain guard like most uh, vehicles because it doesn't have the metal frame around the door, around the window, I should say. Now this one is just coming in, so it's going to be dirty. So let's just uh, jump on in. And you can always get yourself a good windshield visor as well to help uh, reduce the heat in here. Let's start this baby up. Sounds like a Subaru. Squeeze this in here. All right, 91,499 the odometer. Show you a couple of warning lights up there. Uh, the first one is obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Then the one at the bottom left of that is your emergency brake, the circular one. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but it's a handbrake. So when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Other than that, just a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Uh, off to the left here, you do have your uh, monitor. This one does not have a rear camera. You have your radio, air conditioner control, shifter. Uh, it does have an economy mode if you want. That'll pop up right there, the green one. Uh, economy mode if you want to save a little extra gas. Uh, you have your uh, handbrake, cup holders. And then you do have a little bit of storage with a um, power outlet right there. And this doesn't go all the way flat. Uh, a lot of them do that. I think it's just the, um, the hinge that, that starts to wear over the years. Okay. Um, your glove box over here. And I'm not sure if you can see it. It does have a couple cracks in the uh, dash here. Okay. It's typical for these. Also, it's a little bit sticky. Uh, the Subarus, uh, they all, uh, a lot of them crack. The Nissan Skylines, uh, Toyota Crowns, it's just a poor quality in the covering of the dash material. Uh, off to the left here, you do have a little bit of storage in each uh, door compartment or door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You get your red roof layer hanging out. And this is the leg room I have over here. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. I see the seat is all the way back, all the way down. Yeah. I could drive as is or slide it up maybe an inch or two and still be comfortable driving, okay? Let's take a look, uh, eye level, that's my eye level right there. Just see a sliver of the hood, really can't see anything of it. Um, past the windshield wipers, a little bit of factory tint going on in the back. And normally there's a time I show you the auction sheet showing that it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. But because it's just coming in um, and it has not been detailed yet, we keep those inside. Once it's been detailed, just please look on top of the sun visor here. That's where it's going to be. But if you come on out and it hasn't been detailed yet, uh, I can run inside and get that for you. Just to show you a few other things before we go to the back seat. Uh, this done, does have, oh, it's got a, what is it? Possibly a remote start. Let me see. Area. Nope, that's not a remote start. I don't know what that is. But it's not a remote start. Uh, but a little coin box. Uh, you got mirror controls. Please don't forget down here, you do have your gas cover uh, release. And then on the um, to get to your um, your hood release, you just got to follow this all the way down, and all the way down, all the way down, and then you'll find it, okay? So we'll show you that engine compartment here in a little bit. Let's go to the back seat real quick. And this is the all-wheel drive. Okay, there you got it. Here. All right, so I'm about a, an inch away from the back of the seat to my knees. I did have this uh, recline a little bit more than normal, uh, but you do have a little bit of netting for storage on the back of each seat. Nothing uh, on the door panels back here for storage or uh, cup holders, because you do have an ashtray here and cup holders in the back. And then uh, just a, a small armrest for your rear passengers. Okay, let's go to the back area. There you got your space. And again, it's just coming in. We're going to get this cleaned. I'm just trying to get as many vehicles on the website as possible. But I guess you get to see uh, what's back here. Now, you can uh, slide these uh, forward by pushing this button. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, that, that's reclined a little bit more. And you can take, let me move this off to the side. All right, this won't be here when you come in, but but you can take that um, that privacy shade down and then it'll just all be open. So you have a good about six feet. You might be able to sleep in here if you're an outdoorsy type, okay? And it does have the slots that if you want to put uh, 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 crossbars on there, you can. Let's show you the engine compartment, then we're gonna wrap this video up. So there you got it, good old boxer engine. Uh, this is a two liter boxer engine, which will be clean during the detailing process. So there you have it, a 2006 Legacy, uh, Subaru Legacy Wagon. Uh, 91,500 kilometers on it, which is about 56,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4,900 with an additional military discount. We'll get this down to 47. 4,700 is going to include the two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper warranty, the 2021 road tax, and the 10% sales tax are already included. The only thing on top would be your American insurance requirement, whether you go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. We can help you out with that here. Uh, as always, we encourage you to shop around, go out to the other dealers, see what they have, and then stop by Johnny's Juice Cars, let you show what we have and what our program's all about. We are definitely making a difference because we are different. Stop on by, we'll show you why. Uh, if you have any questions while you're out and about, go in and contact us. Information is free. We're always willing to assist you regardless if you're buying a car from us or not. So don't forget, two ways to pay for this, U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of our 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.